I recently found one AI tool that has completely replaced how I research, create documents, and build presentations. If you're a student, professional, founder, or content creator like me, this tool can literally save you hours every day, every week. If you're new here, I'm Sarika from Your Knowledge Buddy. I work with students, professionals, visa holders every day, helping them with interview preparation, career coaching, presentation, and decision-making in their career move. And one of the biggest challenges I see is this. People spend too much time researching, writing, and creating presentation instead of focusing on execution because they don't know which is the right AI tool they should be using. That's when I came across this AI tool called Skywork. And honestly, this is one of the most powerful AI tools I have used recently. But what is Skywork? Skywork is an all-in-one AI platform that helps you research topics deeply, create professional documents, which I'm going to show you, build visually stunning presentation, which will blow your mind and convert ideas into structure output fast. Instead of using multiple tools for research, writing and slide design, Skywork does everything in one place. However, today's highlight will also be introducing you guys to Nano Banana Pro feature. Now, with Nano Banana Pro feature, Skywork automatically creates a full presentation structure, generates content rich slides, adds cinematic visuals and layouts. Not only that, but it also builds charts, frameworks and infographics. So you see, this is not a basic slide generator. These are client ready boardroom quality presentation. Sounds too good to be true, right? So without any further delay, let's begin with a demo now. So let's start with a quick demo. So from the screen, you can see I'm on skywork.ai website. And this is how your homepage looks like. You have different options like general documents, slides, sheets, posters, websites, videos, and tools agent. Again, uh, for today's video, I'm going to focus more on slides and I'm going to show you the feature of Nano Banana Pro. So here is your prompt. So whatever you want to research or you want to create slides, detailed slides, you can give a prompt here. So what I have done, I have written down one prompt, say, create an in-depth professional presentation on UK immigration changes, which were announced in 2025. So if you guys are watching my YouTube video for some time, you know, I have done many immigration related changes videos this year. I wish I knew this tool called skywork.ai. My job would have been easier because I manually created presentation by reading the announcement, which was published on the government portal and other news agencies. But this guy work does the job in few minutes. So I'm going to show you. So here goes your uh, prompt. It can be more detailed if you want. On the left here, you can see there are different modes here. Fast mode, deep mode, lightning mode. Generally, I prefer deep mode because it does a deep analysis. However, if you want to understand which are the different modes, let me quickly show it to you. Here you can read the details, but here is a quick comparison in terms of when you should be using all this mode. So lightning mode, you know, average generation time, it gives you the result in two minutes. Deep mode takes time. So you have to allow the tool, even though it's written 15 minutes, generally I get the results within 10 minutes and the fast mode takes around eight minutes. So if you have very less time, you have to get back to something like a manager or somewhere else. In if you have less time, just use this one lightning mode. And the number of slides you generally get is 8 to 15. For fast mode, you get 10 to 15, deep mode 20 plus. Now, ideal use cases here for lightning mode, urgent presentations, like you were saying, if you're running out of time, you have very few minutes left, you can use lightning mode. And then quick sharing, standardized outputs. Key features, auto template, recommendation, and stand generation. Now, fast mode, it's a mix of lightning mode and it's a mix of deep mode. And you see the results in eight minutes where you get 10 to 15 uh, slides, daily reports, team meetings. If you have some time, definitely you can use this. The key feature for this is balance of efficiency and content depth, smart chart, layout suggestions. Deep mode is what I generally use. I've started exploring it and making detailed presentation. Also, I'll show you something more which I have already created with Skywork. So definitely it will give you 20 plus slides and then it's 15 minutes. It takes, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes, you'll get it. Ideal use cases, academic research, project proposal, strategy planning, or a YouTuber like me. Now I have to create more detailed presentation for my students. When I coach them, mentor them, I have to prepare some topics. I've started using it very well. And now 
Of course, it uh, gives you deep research. It also gives you the source of the information, which is very nice to know. And this is a deep analysis, high density and professional content. If you want to read more, of course, here are the details provided here. Jumping back to the main slide now, this is the new feature they have announced, which I just talked about now, Nano Pro. So you need to click it to enable it. Here, what I have done, I've already done deep mode. Here, Nano Banana Pro. And now what you will see here, save as a preset prompt if you want, you can save this. And then on this, if you click, you have different options. You can add notes. Uh, if you want to upload something from your local device, you can do that. Say you made some rough notes. Uh, in terms of the changes which were announced in the immigration in the UK. I have made many notes. If I want, I can upload it. But I really wanted to see the result without uploading. Where does it pull the data from? And what is the source of information? How deep it is? And also how correct the information is. And then you can also create your own knowledge base and you can upload the data from there. If you want a specific template as well, you can add a template. And then you can add a link, text, anything. For example, if I want to give a reference of BBC article, a news article on UK immigration, I can do that. And then you have uh, cloud upload as well. If you have linked to your OneDrive or Dropbox, if you have information, you can link it here and upload the data. Now, in terms of professional data, it will show you where is it picking up the information. For example, uh, the information which I'm generating uh, about UK immigration, it will be looking at the government info here, uh, provided all the details based on my uh, testing, which I have already done. It will give you the academic research, cultural beliefs, culture and creativity. So you can look at what professional data it will be using uh, to provide you the data. So let's uh, give this a prompt to see how the result turns out to be. I'm not adding any notes here, so I'm just giving this create an in-depth professional presentation on UK immigration changes, which were announced in 2025, and how it impacts international student and immigrants. Let's see. Now here you can see it's generating my presentation in deep mode. It is pulling out the data. You look at the professional data it's looking for. News API, Guardian, open platform, and many more. Now here you can see they are asking me more information like uh, what should be the title, number of pages to generate. I, I can give 16 to 20 if I want page style to generate, you can choose your style. If I like dark, I'm going to just select dark. Which countries you'd like to include for specific comparison? I don't want any country for comparison. Uh, yeah, I don't want any comparison. Target audience, which aspect of the immigration changes would you like to focus on? I will write all of this. Maybe not family migration, settlement. Target audience for the presentation, I will say international student, immigration advisors, or general public. Oh, it allows me target audience for presentation, I'll say general public. Let's see what it does. Would you like to include any specific countries for comparison? No comparison needed. On the left, you can see what it's researching. And you can see what tools they are using, what are they reading in the background. Here on, you, here on the right, you can see what search again it's reading a fair pathway to settlement statement change the uk visa settlement you can see the dates when it was published so it's reading all the information here later on you will see they have some source as well mentioned so let it do its job now here you can see my presentation is ready on the right it will show you how and what it's created like uk immigration changes 2025 impact on international students and immigrants because this is what i said to focus on international students and immigration immigrants. On the left here, you can see this is generating my PowerPoint presentation so that I can download it in uh, PowerPoint or if I want in PDF format or document format, which I'm going to show you. So it is still generating. And it will also show me the next slides, uh, which is 
generated using Nano Banana. And you can see the rich uh, infographic, you can see the graphs and the details, which I will show you in a minute. So the first slide is ready. It will show you the next one because I said 15 slides. So here you can see it's generating 15 slides because I have uh, used deep mode. It's researching deeper with all the information from the UK government portal. Now it has started generating slide number three. Here you can see policy context and drivers. You can look at the graphs and the images which it has produced along with some content around it. And I wish I knew about this too. All the videos that I have done, my job would have been easier. Now look at the next slide. It has already generated about major immigration reforms, skilled worker routes, settlement pathways, compliance and family rules. Now here for, again, for people who are already connected with me on YouTube, Instagram, you know, I made many videos around it. Uh, graduate visa reduction impact here you can see uh, with some details, uh, with some images and some content here, key changes and the implications. Let me scroll and share the next slide. Here you see I'm on slide number six. It has already generated financial requirements for international students. So yes, this is changing. And uh, how much is changing? It's written here. You can see the amount, the percentage and dependent restriction as well. In terms of slide number seven, university compliance and levy changes, they have also added here the compliance changes which were announced uh, this year. Now we all know about the salary threshold which was increased, which was announced on uh, 22nd of July. They had mentioned here as well, which was the new, which is the new salary threshold. So I'm on slide number eight with some amazing infographic. Moving to the next one. So I'm already on slide number nine. Here you can see temporary shortage occupation list, which was again, major changes were announced this year. Again, uh, some commentary around it in terms of what changes and some infographic. So I'm loving it. I would like to know from you guys, what do you see? So next is slide number 10, earned settlement model introduction. So here you can see the graph and the design along with some commentary. So again, I have discussed this in detail in my uh, YouTube live sessions, videos, but again, I did a lot of hard work by reading all the detailed white paper, which was really big, 50 to 60 pages. And now here you can see Skywork is doing all the work for me. I, if I would have not read it, I would have just used Skywork and I would have got a slides which I could have used for my YouTube videos or to mentor, coach people like you or even make a, a or do a live session. Now it has already generated now slide number 11 out of 14. You can see settlement earning factors. Now slide number 12, family visa and illegal working changes. Now it is generating slide number 13, strategic implications for students. Here you go. Moving to the next one, which is slide number 14, which is strategic implication for skilled workers. Yes, uh, big change is coming. And I believe now it's generating the next, next slide, which is slide number 15, because remember I gave slides 15 at the beginning and the moment the slide 15 will be ready, I believe I'll get an option to download it. Here you go. Look at this last one, conclusion and recommendation key takeaways. This is amazing. So what I'm going to do is the task is complete. We are ready for new requests. Here you go. And then if I scroll up, I do have option to download this. Let's click on download. And now you look at the different options you have. PowerPoint, PDF, HTML, Google Slides, whatever you guys use. For me, I use PPTX because once I download the PPT, I can also edit it. Say if I want to add more details to it or I want to add my photo to it or I want to give a reference of my social media or something, I can edit it or just use the slides as it is. I'm going to click on download and I'm going to show you exactly this is what you see here. It will be in my download. Here you can see download started. Again, it is estimated for one to 10 minutes, but it just takes a few seconds. Now, perfect. Here you see my presentation is ready. I'm going to just click on open. Look at this amazing, beautiful work. Look at the infographic. Here you go. This is what exactly which I was talking about. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and uh, go and try this tool, to be honest. But what makes Skywork different from other AI tools? It thinks like a researcher. 
writes like a consultant, designs like a professional presentation designer. You don't need to open PowerPoint separately. Copy paste from ChatGPT like I did. Search for templates. Everything is done inside one platform. Now, if you're wondering who should use Skywork, Skywork is perfect for anyone like students for your presentation, business analysts for your day-to-day -day work, consultants, senior consultants. If you're a founder, CEO, or you're a manager, or even a content creators like me, or anyone who makes presentations or documents, you must try this tool. If your work involves like thinking, structuring, and presenting ideas, try this tool. Out of all the AI tools I have tested recently, Skywork has saved me the most time, especially with this Nano Banana Pro feature. It blew my mind. It genuinely feels like having a research analyst and a designer working with you. I've added the Skywork link in the description. If you want to try it out, click the link in the description and do share your thoughts and experiences with me in the comment section. Did you like the demo? Did you like the presentation which was created? Let's start talking in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video till the end and I'll see you guys with my next video. Till then, keep learning.